I am Ariana from Lacus. We are a San Diego based legal practice management company. Um, I've been working with Lacus for about a year now since I finished my MBA at a local university. Um, and then I will be available for any questions if you guys have regarding Lacus. My information is down here below. Feel free to reach out to me anytime. Um, we also do have Maddie from Smith AI here. So I will go ahead and pass that on to her. Awesome. Thanks, Ariana. Uh, so yeah, I'm Maddie Martin. I'm the VP of Marketing at Smith AI. You're a 24-7 virtual receptionist service, and we handle calls, chats, texts, and Facebook messages for... Now I am going to take my puppy out of the room. <laughs> handle calls, <laughs> chats, Facebook messages for small businesses. And we are, if you just go back for a second, um, we are serving businesses across North America, even into Europe, and we help you be more responsive when you're not necessarily available to handle those inbound calls. We also make outbound calls for you, and we share actionable data on what calls happened and what happened on those calls, what actions were taken, who they were with, and how that relates to your budget and your business goals. If you have marketing campaigns, how are those calls actually converting into new consultations, new clients, et cetera. Obviously we take integrations really seriously and Locus is the newest integration that we have that we'll be talking about today. But what we wanna do here, and then you can go to the agenda, Ariana, um, is to just walk through like the main pitfalls and issues that we see a lot of small law firms facing and how we address those between our two solutions and best practices that we've gleaned along the way working really closely with our clients. For Smith AI, we do work with uh, businesses other than law firms, but about 80% of our businesses with law firms, obviously Locus is, is geared towards law firms. We'll talk about how to integrate the solutions and then we'll share some discounts and deals with you and how to get started. Perfect, yeah. So just on the agenda today, a couple of tips to run a better law firm, what Smith AI can do for your firm, what Locus can do for your firm, and then lastly, how we can integrate both solutions. Great. So, um, you know, I'm happy to share Ariana for this section. Um, so let me let me grab that, and I will present. Awesome. Um, so let me hmm, start us back from the beginning. Thanks for your patience, everyone. So, um, really, like when we think about the, you know troubleshooting the common law firm pitfalls and tips to running a better law firm. It really does start with the initial sales funnel that new potential client visits your website. They fill out a contact form. You might have a consultation. There may be an intake form completed, which we'll talk about later. And in that process, you've identified a great new potential client who's a good fit for your firm. You're a good fit for them. Budgets and timing align and you retain a new client. Now, what we know is that oftentimes it's really not always that easy. And the trouble often occurs at the very tippy top of this funnel, right? And the leaks don't come down below where they already have a connection and a relationship with you. The biggest leaks happen at the top where we know consumers are expecting an instant response, but that's often not delivered. It's often the case that you're reaching a voicemail if you're trying to reach out to a law firm. We know that based on the Clio Legal Trends Report and other reports out there, um, we can see that there are commonly issues shared among attorneys. So they are feeling overworked. They're saying 76% of attorneys are feeling overworked. Like they don't have the business acumen and skills required to run a business because law school didn't necessarily prepare you for that nor past experience at law firms. So as a result, the calls aren't answered, and that is the single biggest uh, factor in whether or not they are going to move forward and hire a firm. The first firm who picks up is typically the firm that wins the business. So if we see the data, there's massive opportunity here. 50% of lead generation budgets, marketing budgets are wasted on leads who are never contacted. Well, that became someone else's client, right? That should become your client. That is available to you. 79% of marketing leads never convert into sales. Why is that? It starts at the top of the funnel. 
It also happens that people are not necessarily having meaningful conversations, screening out those leads who are in a different practice area, who contacted your law firm because you're just a law firm and they don't know there are different practice areas. People are having conversations that are a waste of time. The pre-screening is important and that's when the intake form, that initial intake form comes in really handy to make sure that you're having meaningful conversations when you do sit down and take the time to connect with a new lead. So one, when you know your funnel, you, know, you really do want to focus on plugging the biggest holes first. But for those firms who lean in, really big returns await. So I love that there's this shared statistic here of two-thirds. I mentioned that two-thirds of clients base their decision to hire on a firm's initial responsiveness to that first call or email or touch point. But this is the same percent that also says as clients, they're going to spend more, up to 14% more when they receive excellent service. So this isn't just a sales play to say that responsiveness matters and winning the business in the first place. It's also a long-term client relationship play and retention and referral play to make sure that you are delivering, delivering excellent service, being responsive to those existing clients, following up and checking in with them. And then they will end up either spending more money with you or having those referrals go through, writing those reviews online and end up generating more revenue through new business that is attracted by them to you. So the, the most important thing when it comes to running a better law firm, running a more professional, productive, profitable, profitable law firm is really nipping those top of funnel issues in the bud and what we commonly see is that firms are not taking seriously enough their phone systems. We see a lot of people who are still using a Google voice number, people who are using their cell phone numbers, which is really intrusive. One of the biggest issues when you give your cell phone number is that someone is not going to just like take that cell phone and plug in your number. And then when you get that business number, they delete your mobile number. That never happens. They've got your mobile number for good right? So starting with the right practices from the beginning is absolutely critical. You don't want to go down that path where everyone still has that backup cell phone for you. And when you don't answer the office phone, they're going to try and contact you through that more invasive way. So how do we set you up for success? You really want to make sure that you have a business phone system, such as a dial pad or phone.com that allows you to have a business number that can be transferred to your cell phone so that you've got an app on your phone where you answer your business calls, but it doesn't actually ring your cell phone number. We also want to make sure that you're checking your phone, you know, connection rates. And this is uh, an article, we'll share this link to the deck with you so you can read this later on how to get really clear phone service. If you have ever found that you're answering the phone and someone's not there uh, and they've already hung up, and you answer the phone and you can't hear each other, or you answer the phone and it seems like there's a delay or there's fuzz, there's a disconnect. All of this latency and noise, the jitter and packet loss, as they call it, is very common intermittently in different phone plans. And you can actually contact your business provider and say, look, I'm having trouble with your phone service. I really need you to you know, make sure that my calls are getting through. You're paying for a service you deserve for that clarity to come through your phone lines. Even if it's just $25 a month, you can email them and you should expect a response and a solution. So if you haven't audited your phone lines, do so. That's one of the easiest things you can do, non-technical things you can do to just have someone, have a friend call your main line, make sure that they're able to connect, Make sure there's a friendly answer. Make sure that when the call comes in and you answer it, that they haven't been waiting for eight rings before you even hear one. That latency can cause lost calls. And as a result, you might think you're super fast to pick up. They've already been waiting for a while. And as a result, you have a gap in your phone system. So we want to close those gaps. You also will find that 
being responsive 24 seven has become more and more important. There are probably people who are contacting you for practice areas that weren't traditionally uh, acknowledged to be 24 seven or expected to be 24 seven where people are now calling on the weekends in the evenings for family law, estate planning, business law, trademarks, et cetera. Most of the time those people would call nine to five. Now the data is showing that about 25% of the calls are after hours. Those cannot be ignored. They are not necessarily not as quality leads. Someone's working a full-time job. They have their kids at home. Their elderly parents might live with them. It might not be appropriate to call until the kids are asleep because they have to discuss a sensitive legal matter. All of these things really matter. So if you cannot be available, make sure that you have systems or solutions in place that actually allow you to be available. Now, the other important detail here is that if you're just focusing on inbound, that's only one piece of the puzzle. Outbound calls are absolutely an effective way to follow up with web form fills, to follow up with clients who have talked to you and then they haven't taken that next step of scheduling a consultation, of signing a client agreement. There are so many times when you need to make an outbound call. When it comes to leads, they need to be called on average six times before you have a confidence level over 90% that they have made a decision, that you are going to connect with them. If you don't connect with them by the sixth call, there's very low likelihood that you're going to connect with them after that, but you don't know that until you've made six calls. Now, who has time for that? You know, certainly Smith AI does, but typically the law firm owner does not. And we see this, by the way, across industries. This is not something where, you know, we're shaming uh, law firms because you're in the exact same situation that everyone else is in right now, where you're spread thin, you have a lot of work to do. There is an ethical obligation unique to this industry that, you know, has a lot of rules around what you have to do to complete client work. And as a result, with all of those burdens, some of these things go by the wayside. But if you want to go beyond that client work that you're doing right now and have the next set of client work lined up for you, that does require being responsive and looking seriously at these systems. What we find is that there are a number of best practices, and you can read this later. This is just as a resource here for you for forwarding your call. So you might say, look, Maddie, you said that you know, you've got a phone system. It's important that I don't just use my cell phone. Then I've got a main business number. That business number is going to be on your business cards, on your website. Maybe it's even you know, in the front of your office if you have a local street address. And as a result, people are going to be calling that. And you want to make sure that if you are having someone else answer your calls, those calls are being forwarded in a manner that preserves the connection, the clarity. It doesn't make someone wait a really long time. And that it is uh, going to connect up to a receptionist service, for example, in a really clean way. So what we often see is that people will accept those calls, wait four, five, six rings, and then just before it's about to hit voicemail, forward that to Smith AI. Well, then we're going to take a couple rings at the most to get to that call. There's a connection takes a little delay, then the first ring, it might take two rings. Now you've put that poor person through eight rings, let's say, they're probably hanging up by then. They don't know that there's a connection in progress. They don't know that you're forwarding your calls to Smith AI after it's already rung through your entire team. As a result, you have someone who really doesn't have a sense of uh, you know, security or surety that they're actually going to connect with a live person. After eight rings, it starts to sound like you're out of business. So as a result, these best practices are here so that there is a limit on how long something can ring. We really expect that not more than two rings before it comes to Smith AI so that we can be responsive, even if you want it to be overflow. So I would recommend that you are not setting up an auto attendant also on your own phone system because people are expecting that if you have... Uh, they press one for new clients, press two for existing clients, for example, press three for billing, press zero for the operator. And then it rings out to your team. Someone presses an option and it rings longer. It just extends the call. 
think of it this way, the longer the call, the less likely you are going to be to connect with that person. So really the most successful firms are saying at the outset, we're going to just forward all our calls to either the in-house receptionist and that person is there to answer it. If they can't answer or they're out of the office, we're going to set it up to ring immediately to Smith AI. Now, if you don't have that person and you, do, you agree that it's not wise to accept random interruptions during the day that might be spam or sales calls in addition to potentially a new or existing client who you don't know as soon as the phone starts ringing, then you forward to Smith AI and it comes back to the firm when we identify who's calling. Okay, it's a new client that goes to the intake specialist or it goes to the attorney. It's an existing client, goes to the attorney in charge of the case. We can transfer, we can schedule, et cetera, if we are able to answer. And the most important thing is making that connection. So reducing noise. When I think about the funnel, I sort of think of it as this flow where you have leads who are coming through through a variety of sources. Now, this doesn't include all the spam and sales and robocalls that come through and sort of um, you know, throw a monkey wrench in our plans, but they are coming through because you're attracting them in a number of ways. Importantly, they're not just coming through by phone and email and text, right? They're coming through also through website chat, they're coming through social messages. And the ways that they reach out should be responded to as best as possible on par with all the other channels. So what I mean is if we just think about responsiveness as a factor of speed, then we only are limited to, well, the fastest I can possibly pick up a call, then I'm going to be, you know, set. If you don't think about, you know, the, the speed through which you respond to emails, text messages, if you have a Facebook page, there's the same expectation that if you have a business presence, Google My Business is a great example of this. If you have a way to message you online, that level of responsiveness is expected on all of those channels. It's also expected that in the response, there is meaningful work done. It's not just let me take a message because that only has very limited marginal value compared to them leaving a voicemail. They're not going to have a meaningful you know, progress made or even like if that quality lead is not there and there's someone that should be referred out, that is helpful to complete on the first call. You don't want a stack of to-dos where it's a bunch of referrals to make to other firms, or it's a bunch of not good fits for anyone and they need to be referred to the Bar Association for Lawyer Referral Services or pro bono, et cetera. Um, for example, I was just talking to an attorney last week uh, who said, look, I'm a nonprofit attorney and I get a lot of calls about pro bono and they don't realize that nonprofit law is not, not pro bono law. And I'm sure many of you have experienced similar miscommunications and misunderstandings. So as a result, it's really important to qualify and that's that step to say, are they good leads or bad leads for the firm? And then we're only going to take those next steps of all that extra work with intake, with scheduling, if they are a good fit. If they're not a good fit, how can we build goodwill and monetize those leads in the future by saying, let me explain what we do. This is not a good fit, but here's a good law firm that you could get in touch with. And you know, if you ever have a need for, let's say, family law matters or immigration law matters or estate planning matters, there are things that you might bring up, especially in family and estate law, where if they need you, personal injury, if they need you at any point in their lives, you are available. And hang on to that number that you just called because we are going to be here. We are actively accepting new clients and you'll be shocked at how beneficial that is. Now, when we have the leads who are coming through who are good quality, we do want to walk them through an ideal you know, intake process that is consistent. It's used every single time and it gathers the required information to have a really valuable first consultation. So what often happens is when you're first starting out with technology, you build your contact form on your website and what do you ask for? You ask for name, email, phone number, and a big blank box that says, Leave, leave us your, your message. Why do you want to contact our firm? What's going on with you today? And as a result, you get a whole range of information that is not necessarily helpful or relevant or answers the questions that you actually have in your own mind, but didn't incorporate into the form. And this is where it becomes really important to ask for specific 
details and information? Are you asking, is there a court date scheduled? Are you asking, is there shared property in both of your names? Are you asking if there are children involved? Are you asking if you've ever been bankrupt before, et cetera? Is your home already foreclosed on? What other things are going on with you? Tell me about the student debt and at what level is it and how long have you had it? So things like that will determine is this a case that is relevant and important to my firm? Is this a case that I can handle? Is this a case that is in alignment with my firm goals? And did I tell myself I wasn't going to take these cases anymore? That's something that you can see right at the outset when those form fills come in, instead of spending time and discovering it on the consultation, because frankly, they might not even put anything in that blank box. And if you have a team that is instructed to just schedule everyone for a consultation, or if you have, and this is an example form, we'll talk about this later, let's say that you've got calendaring on your website or in your email signature, and someone's scheduling time with you without that pre-screening, that could be a massive loss of time. And what we see is about 60% of clients, potential clients, will have a consultation and not end up hiring that firm which means there's a lot of room to improve. How does someone actually get to schedule a consultation? Now, with calendaring tools, yes, these are absolutely critical because if someone calls for you and the call is handled on your behalf, again, simply to take a message is not an effective method of getting that person to stop their search for an attorney, right? So the most important thing that you can do is to get that next step on the calendar. That is sales 101. Let's say that you've got someone on the phone, you're in a family law practice, they say, I'm seeking to divorce my husband, ask them the questions, are you in the right area? Uh, are you prepared financially to pay for this? You know, when are you available? You know, have you, you know, thought seriously about this, right? Get it on the calendar. You have screened them. They are so much more likely if they've already had that initial pre-conversation to have a quality consultation and then sign up. So there is a, a level of momentum there that is critical. And if you don't have these calendaring tools, which by the way, Calendly, Acuity, a number of these are free, they will allow you to enable that booking without giving anyone access to your calendar, to moving items, all those things that make us sort of have our hair stand up, right? There's no loss in security when you use those tools. Now, similarly, if we're seeking to reduce the inbound noise, one of the ways that we can do so is with messaging solutions like chat, text, and Facebook. We see this goes way beyond the millennial generation. Everyone from every generation is saying, look, you know, I'm way too busy. I don't have time to actually get on the phone with someone. Uh, maybe I'm finally traveling or I'm in a cell phone dead zone, but I actually have access to Wi-Fi. I can go online and I can chat. I'm here with my you know, kid and I don't want him to overhear the conversation I'm going to have with a law firm. Silently, I can text. I can go on Facebook and I can message someone while I happen to be on Facebook. It's very seamless. And it also allows for discrete conversations about sensitive legal matters that don't always need to be conveyed by voice over the phone. Now, this is just like phone bilingual. And what we see, and this is super interesting, if you think that chat doesn't matter because maybe it annoys you and you don't like it, or perhaps because it is um, sort of noise that is unnecessary, those people who are visiting your website aren't necessarily going to call if you don't expose them to chat or a way to engage. What we find is that for every four calls, there's one net new lead who didn't call, who chatted. So what that means and what GNGF study, they're a legal marketing agency, what they showed is that by adding chat, for every four leads that you were already basically paying for from some marketing campaign, you're getting a freebie for free that actually was hanging out there anyway, waiting for you to engage them, looking around your website, maybe not able to find the information they were seeking and just wanting some easy access way to quickly make sure this is like they're in the right place, right? And that's what chat does. It doesn't 
make it a, a loosey goosey informal website. It doesn't annoy them. It's just another access point to get down that path towards that consultation if they're a good fit. So if we think about, well, what are the you know, highest priority things that I could do right now to identify where do I have gaps in my communication process? Where could I be more streamlined or efficient? Am I consistent with my intake, et cetera? What I really recommend is to start just tracking your time. Really honestly, yes, it's not fun um, to say, look, every hour of every workday, of every day period, because you might be going beyond just the workday. Am I spending time on billable work? Is it leadership work? Is it neither? Is it admin work, et cetera? And systems work, technology, et cetera. Tag it as those things and see, am I the only one who literally has to do this work? I'm the attorney of the firm and there are only uh, legal secretaries and paralegals and a new associate. I wouldn't delegate certain things to those people yet or ever. Fine, I can only do these things. And then all the other things, can you hand them off? Can you streamline? Can you automate? Can you outsource? Now, there may be opportunities to hire a freelance attorney to help you with some of the legal work. But when it comes down to it, most of the time what we see is that there is not actually um, an issue of resources. There's an issue of mental comfort levels to say, I'm uneasy delegating these things. I'm not comfortable delegating these things. I don't want to automate something. It doesn't feel you know, like what I'm used to. And that is so often the thing that blocks that progress, that efficiency, that you can go out and win more new clients than you ever imagined. The problem is that it's not, you know, a lack of time or energy or money. It's a reluctance to take off those things that are on your plate that you can you absolutely can delegate to others. So think about sort of that Eisenhower decision matrix. Um, you know, what is the balance of urgency and importance? How do you also factor in what to delegate versus what to automate? So we've thought about a little bit of that for you. And I'm sure that, you know, we're going to see in Locus things that can be automated with really powerful workflows that will inspire you further. But just to sort of see that client check-ins, lead qualification, and payments are most often neglected, time-consuming, and easily outsourced. If you have to get an unpaid bill paid, you're going to have to chase and chase and chase that client. Oh, just give me a little bit more time pulling on your heartstrings. That's really time-consuming. It's also really draining. It does not have to be done by you. In fact, protect that client relationship that you have that's been developed and let a neutral third party do that for you. Lead qualification let those initial screenings and intake forms happen before you. You are that champion. You're that you know, queen or king on that chair that they are anticipating talking to. You don't have to pick up your own phone. You don't have to ask them all the routine questions as long as you have a routine. So it's critical that you identify those intake questions that are important to you to establish that routine. Data entry, lead follow-up. This is something that is easily automated. After every Smith AI call, that call is then recorded in your system of record. In this case, we're talking about Locus. And that means that there doesn't need to be someone's time on your team spent keying in data and typographical errors and delays that happen when that has to be done manually. Waiting on a consultation for that information and you're wondering where that post-it note is, Shoot, who am I talking to and what did they want and where is that web form? All of that information is in there and it makes you look better and perform better at your optimal degree. So a lot of these things cannot be addressed all at once. You know, do your time tracking, identify like those things that can be delegated or automated. Talk to solution providers like Locus, like Smith AI, who do this day in and day out and don't feel like you're alone. And then make a few changes and stabilize, wait a couple months and see how does that actually affect your day-to-day -day qualitatively and quantitatively. Are you sleeping better? Are you getting more revenue? Are the clients a better match for your firm? What are all the things that are important to you? And how does that relate to 
your initial goals in establishing your firm in the first place? Are you getting closer to that vision or do you have to redefine your vision because you're actually already there and you need to think about, well, here I am at my you know, half a million dollar a year law firm, I'm going to go for a million dollars a year. I'm going to go for $5 million a year and beyond that. That's really where we want to be, where you are constantly achieving and then setting new goals. So I know there was a question um, in chat. So I will uh, quickly address this. So there was a question about how to structure chat with Smith AI. It is a worthwhile conversation, uh, but isn't answering legal questions. So what kinds of chat topics does Smith AI handle? So really quickly, and first of all, thank you for asking that. Um, what we typically find is that you, you're going to ask some questions that are uh, getting to the heart of the matter to make sure that they're a good fit for the law firm. And I'm just going to stop sharing the screen because Ariane is going to share next. Um, it's really important that we identify who is the who is a good fit for your law firm, understanding your practice areas before we even you know open up chat on your website in the first place. And we want to ask for first of all contact information up front. So if we get disconnected, we can get back in touch with that person. We want to ask for um, you know what is their timing, where are they located, making sure that if it's a location-based uh, you know, practice, not federal like trademarks, um, that they are actually able to practice in that county, for example, um, and not getting into any answers beyond the very basics. So if, if the chat agent is asked, or if the, even the chat bot is asked questions, the normal scope would be, where is your office located, or is the consultation over Zoom or, um, you know, how do you charge for uh, legal services? Maybe it's flat rate or hourly. Things that would be available on your website to anyone or during any sort of non-attorney-led call that a support staff could handle for you. So if you think about what could someone do for me who's not an attorney, that's exactly what uh, Smith AI could do for you via chat. It's exactly the same over phone. It would be the same on a Facebook message. Oh, you know, how long is the divorce going to take would be something that we don't answer. That's a great question to ask the attorney when you have a consult, right? And you keep steering and directing those answers will be resolved when that consultation happens. Now, if you don't want to push towards a consult, you can also say, I've gathered that information. We will forward that to the firm and someone will be in contact with you. And then the beautiful thing about a chat transcript is you're able to see the entire conversation. And line by line, you can say, there are these three questions that we need to ask when we do email back or call back that person, make sure that we address the outstanding questions that they had. So that's something we're very mindful of and I'm glad you asked. All right, Ariana, over to you. Perfect, I will take over from here. So for those who have not heard about Locust before, we are a modern all-in-one practice management software designed to help attorneys manage and grow their practice of any size. Some of our most sought after features include time and billing, automatic reminders, e-signatures, calendar management with the built-in scheduler, intake forms with conditional logic, canned responses. You do also have a client portal that is fully customizable so you can tailor that completely to your liking and choose exactly what you share with your clients. So let me go ahead to the next slide. This is what our dashboard looks like. Our dashboard includes agenda for the day, your top refers, you have your conversion rate, total outstanding revenue, lead trends, work in progress, practice performance metrics. You have reasons for not being hired. You have pipeline values, leads added, and your latest activities. This is also fully customizable, so you can move around these panels to your liking or completely eliminate them. Another popular feature that we have is our Kanban style. So we do offer the ability to see your matters listed in Kanban style. So it is easier on the eyes. You can also create your own pipelines. You can drag and drop these cases from stages and you can even set up workflows to be triggered. I apologize, um, to be triggered when you drag a case over from one stage to another. So we will go over how to automate that in a second. 
So another thing, as I mentioned, automation, we are well known for our automation features. So um, it can basically be as simple or as complex as you choose. You can set up workflows to automate, rewrite processes. You can find yourself spending too much time on. If you're always you know, sending a task or an email, um, you can automate that. These, these are examples of some things you can automate in Locus, for example, um, sending emails, events, creating documents or invoices. And then we will go over a few tips for running a better law firm and how Locus can help you with that. So a few tips for running a better law firm, um, know your firm. Do you know your team and your business? Make sure everyone is on the same page and knows the vision, mission, culture, and brand. Um, it can be harder to achieve goals if you're not all on the same page. So that's something um, I will talk about how Locus can help you with in a little bit. Um, know your clients. So what's your competitive advantage? Make sure you use your advantage and your clients always want to feel like they're being heard and understood. So you can take the time to get to know your clients and give them attention, even if that just means setting up your case management software to send them more regular updates or check in emails. Um, and also, if we are not consistently adapting to change and innovating, we are falling behind. So this also goes for your law firm. We have to make sure that we're always adapting and changing, improving your services. Um, that's something that's very important. Um, another thing we wanna focus on is avoiding complexity when it's unnecessary. So the more you can downsize your tools and processes, the more you reduce unnecessary complexity. So even if, even if that means investing some time initially to discover which platforms are best for you, in the end, you will appreciate the time you put in to research the best tools in order to be most effective and get a good return on your investment. So then we're going to go into how Locus can help you with this. Locus makes it easy to collaborate with your team members or clients on any specific matter and even lets you assign tasks or subtasks to certain employees so you can make sure everyone is on track. You can also see activities that have been completed from your team members. Another thing you can do in Locus is use our customized portal to give your clients the personalized attention they need to keep coming back for your services. So our por portal, our portal, I apologize, allows you to send bills, messages, documents. It allows your clients to see as much information about your firm and their case as you would like for them to, nothing more and nothing less. You can use your automated tools to automate the entire process from when your firm receives a phone call to the client intake process and even all the emails you use to have, um, you used to have to manu manually send, now you can automate them. So our automation system does allow for basic or complex workflows, email templates, e-signatures, um, you know, basically everything you might need to send to a client. Um, you can use our automation system and email templates to keep up with your current and past clients to make sure that they feel important, like you're checking up on them, you can send them a newsletter or maybe a Christmas email. Um, you can set up automated emails to check in on them, wish them well on holidays, um, anything you might need in regard to that. And then here we will go over how you can actually automate your intake process using Locus and Smith AI. So basically the way it would work is the prospective client can call your firm, Smith AI will answer and submit an intake form and Locus will automate. You can see a partial screenshot of what the workflow looks like. So basically the way this workflow operates is your prospective client can be routed to your answering service like Smith AI. And if the lead is warm, they can use your scheduling link to book an appointment if that's the step you'd like to take. Or if the lead is not quite warm enough to schedule an appointment, they can always take a message, which means filling out a new client intake form that you created and gave them. You can collect a name, email, phone number, preferred contact method, and case type. And you can also use conditional logic for this. So based on which case type they select, a distinct workflow will be triggered and the client will receive the corresponding documents dependent on their case type. So here you can see an example of the client selects um, in the intake form their preferred contact method, whether that be text, email, or phone. So you can set up the workflow to send them a text message whenever you feel that it's necessary. You can automate an email to be sent to them, or you can set up a task to call the client if they prefer to be contacted by the phone. And then as we were speaking about emails, you can automate 
engagement letters, texts, any type of email you want to send your clients. Um, you can use merge tags so it's more personalized and you can send them pretty much anything you need. Um, you can send e-signatures as well. They can respond um, and that can all be automated. And then next, Maddie will go into how we can connect Smith AI and Locus. Awesome. Uh, you can continue sharing actually, Ariana. That's totally fine. Uh, if you don't mind just moving the slide um, to the next one. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so it's quite easy, even though there's a lot of text on the screen. Uh, basically with the integration after calls, you will see the call summary, the call instance, you know, that a call happened along with all the details on the caller, their contact information, the receptionist's call summary um, in your phone log, which is under the interactions tab in your inbox. Um, in order to get this set up, all you need to do is email support at smith.ai and request your unique app approval URL. You will get that URL, you'll open it up in your browser, you'll authorize a connection, basically just click uh, a couple buttons, and then you will reply to us and say that you've completed that connection process. That's it. As soon as you have completed that process, then you will see calls logged in Locus that Smith AI is handling for you. Now, the beautiful thing is that you do also have a Smith AI client dashboard that shows you information and detail about those calls. But if you have uh, calendar items, if you have uh, consultations, et cetera, if you're working in Locus, you can actually see those calls there. You don't have to switch systems if you're already in there. See that call summary, see the upcoming consultation that was scheduled for you that that call summary mentions. You can create a contact uh, if one doesn't already exist. And you can, um, actually the contact will be created for you if one doesn't already exist, but you could associate it with a matter if uh, that needs to be uh, done after you have a consultation, after you win that new client, then you can create a matter with that contact. So there's a help doc on this. And then uh, if you go to the next slide, I just wanted to touch on what this will actually look like. Um, Ariana, can you just go to the next slide? All right, thanks. Uh, so this is what the uh, call summary will look like. You'll see that there is a disposition, the status. So is it a new lead, an existing client, attorney or court staff, et cetera? Is it a uh, high normal or low priority? Uh, what is the duration? And then also the email, obviously this is a test email. You'll see the call notes below that information. And you will also see in brackets that that call is from generated through Smith AI and the actual number of that uh, caller uh, with the name. It's obviously not Javi Keypad, it's a joke name from our engineer, but you will see that number come through. Uh, if we go to the next slide, we'll talk about intake forms uh, briefly, which we can also use on calls to complete on behalf of new potential clients. So um, if you don't already know, obviously you can create an intake form in Locus. And then you can name that as just for Smith AI, or that can be your standard intake form. You would share that link then with uh, support at smith.ai. We would then be able to use that intake form to handle uh, calls with new potential clients who are qualified to uh, actually have a consultation with you, for example. Um, if you go to the next slide, then I will show what a potential intake form that we could handle might look like. Um, this is somewhat limited on a call. We're not going to have a 20 minute call. It's more like a three to five minute call. So what's the information that we can gather? Contact information. If you are in uh, business law, you might also ask for a company name and website, perhaps uh, location might be important. Or in the case of uh, family law, in this, in this case, there's check boxes for divorce, child support, adoption, other, if there's a court date, already scheduled, we can type that in and, and the opposing party. This is also extremely helpful when you have Smith AI uh, helping you with conflict checks. So if we need to run names through a spreadsheet, then we can do that. Uh, and that information is something that we can use if you choose to ask us to do so to see, does that come up with any flags for a conflict check? Uh, if you go to the next slide, 
then we are, uh, I think, back to, yep, the plans and pricing. So this is actually going to change. Uh, this is still the existing pricing, but if you take advantage now, this is actually changing in the new year, which is just a couple of weeks away. Um, plans start at $210 a month with 30 calls. That means that you are paying upfront for 30 calls. All spam blocking, robo calls, sales calls, those are blocked for free for you, not included in that call uh, quota. If you go over 30, it's just a single charge per extra conversation. You're never bumped up to the next plan. There's no surprise sort of tier shifting and it's always live staff 24 seven. There are optional add-ons if you don't mind going to the next slide, Ariana, um, that allow you to have the intake forms, the appointment scheduling. The reason that we charge individually for these add-ons is because we do not want to spend your money for you. There are some firms that we work with who will say, I want all of these add-ons. I want you to book an appointment, take a credit card payment as a deposit and complete that intake form. And we can absolutely do that. Those are often very successful calls because you have everything you need to get started with that potential client. You may add email and SMS follow-up. Here's a more robust intake form. Here's the scheduling link that you didn't use on the call with us. Just go ahead and schedule time once you talk to your spouse or mother or business partner, whomever you need to talk to, to initiate that next step in the legal process. You might ask for a dedicated Spanish line. You might ask for more integrations, even though the first one is free. So the Locus integration will be free for you if that's your only integration, which typically we find that there's one CRM integration, one practice management integration, et cetera, per account. So typically you're not exceeding that free one, but you could. If you go to the next uh, slide, you know, it's very easy. As I mentioned, you know, everything is customized to your specific needs, whether it comes to the instructions that we are following. We really don't use scripts, so to speak, in the sense that we're not just reading off of the page because that's not a great experience, but instead we will have guidelines, we will have prompts. Actually, our system is built on an AI-driven workflow that allows us to handle the calls with a natural sort of in-house feel, not reading uh, scripts, but actually having the, the feel of someone who is in-house, who has a natural sort of uh, comfort with the information on the screen, prompted to them at the right time for the right type of caller. Let's say it's a new lead versus an existing client. There will be different processes that we will follow to handle that type of call, different you know, calendars that we might use, et cetera. We also work with all phone systems. So no matter what you choose, even if you still have Google Voice, uh, we, can, we can work with that. Um, but if you have any different landline or soft phone, we can handle that, whether it's all calls after hour or overflow. And on the web side, whether you've got WordPress or Weebly or Webflow or any other W or S name website, uh, Squarespace, et cetera, um, we can use our chat on your website. So it's our own chat widget. We don't plug our staff into you know, an existing widget. It's all completely a unified solution so that you have one vendor, one contact for all of your frontline communications. The uh, thank you for the question in the chat. The add-on prices are um, what you saw there of like $30 you know, a month. It's a dollar per call. So that's sort of tabulated for the month at a starter plan of 30 calls. So yeah, it's basically per call times the number of calls per month. And uh, if you have, for example, appointment scheduling, that would be a you know, dollar per call. If you have an intake form, it might be a dollar, dollar 50 per call. Um, all of those are, are easily listed out on our website as well, so that when you have a consultation with us, we'll walk through the pricing, but you can absolutely get familiar with that right now. Just visit smith.ai, click on the pricing tab, and you'll see all of that laid out. We are not the company that says, you know, like hidden pricing page, schedule a consultation, and then we'll maybe give you the same pricing we gave the last person. We really don't like that uh, uh, method. Um, it's all laid out in front of you. And again, it will change in 2022. So I would take advantage of that offer. Um, 
And we do have a 14 day money back guarantee. So you are never locked in to a plan. They are month to month and there is an annual discount if you do decide that Smith AI is the right partner for you long-term. I think we have maybe one more slide. There we go. <laughs> so there is a code LOCUS for $100 off, which would make your first month about $100, $110 if you start now. There is also a 20% off two month discount on our website. And I will actually type in the code to the chat right now, which is 20 off two uh, for 20% off two months. So either you have that um, and you can take advantage of that through December 24th. Um, so that may or may not beat the $100 off depending on your volume. Uh, so that's everything that I wanted to cover. Uh, if there are any questions, I will keep an eye on the chat. Ariana, I know that there's a question about Locus calendaring. Uh, yep. If a client can reschedule or cancel a meeting the way that Acuity and Calendly can do. Yes, correct. They can cancel or reschedule meetings. They can book meetings with you. Same as Calendly. Okay. And then let's go into Locus pricing. So we have a pretty um, basic pricing. It's pretty straightforward here. Um, you have basic case management billing and trust accounting with our standard plan. Um, our plus plan is a little more advanced. You have some basic automation here. And then our business plan is our most popular. That does include everything. You get e-signatures with this. You get the templates. You get full automation and workflows. Um, and then we are offering 10% off new signups for any annual plans that you purchase um, if you did attend our webinar. And then lastly, um, Smith AI is doing a very generous offer and giving us a free ebook if you want to talk about that, Maddie. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so if you click on this, then you will get a long uh, but very digestible and actionable ebook uh, that talks through some of the things I mentioned today and more giving really concrete examples of not just the problems that so many attorneys face, so you're not alone, but also given that you're not alone and this happens so often, there are clear solutions. So check that out, it is available to you for free. And I hope that you will read through that and it inspires you to make small incremental changes in your firm because it really is within reach. Um, the uh, great question, can Smith AI customers get the 20 off to discount? Uh, you may if you add a new service. So if you add on a website chat, then you can take advantage of that. But otherwise, it is available for uh, new clients only. So it is per product if you add chat, uh, which again, pricing is on our website for that. Just don't have time to go through everything. Um, you can get that 20% off uh, two months. Uh, you can also get a discount in two other ways. One is with the 10% off annual plan. Uh, and two is by referring other clients. So with Smith AI, you get $25 off of your bill every month when you refer a new client uh, who signs up for a plan. Um, so that is uh, something that a lot of our clients will stack with every new client adding $25 a month, uh, we have several clients who actually pay uh, next to nothing or actually $0 for their Smith AI services. A uh, question from uh, another person says, um, integrating Locus and Smith AI for clients who have already gone from lead to matter, is there a way to make our client list available to whoever winds up fielding the call for Smith AI? So actually it's an, it's a direct integration where we will check the phone number and the email, I believe, um, for a match in your entire database, whether they are a leader or a contact. Um, so that would mean that even if they're associated to a matter, we should be able to identify them. Feel free to email support at smith.ai if for any reason something doesn't behave the way you intend or you want it to. Um, but that is my understanding that it being connected to a matter um, shouldn't determine if a match is made, but I do know we have some integrations that uh, will allow us to connect down to the matter. Feel free to email and uh, we can look forward, uh, we can look further into that for you. 
You'd like to be able to see that he's already a client dealing. Yep, exactly. So you will be able to see that if someone is already a client, that call summary in your uh, phone log uh, would mention that uh, client name. And um, I'm not familiar, Ariana, if the phone log also appears as like an activity history underneath contacts or within matters. If they receive a phone call, like if that's marked as an activity, you know, as far as I know, I don't think so. I believe the activities are for users who do an action in Locus, but I can double check on that. Okay, I'll great. I'll send you an email regarding that. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, great questions. Any other questions? We have a couple more minutes here still. Uh, well, while you're thinking on that, um, I just wanted to sort of circle back to what this means for your firm. It's not insignificant to think about what does outsourcing, what does automation open up for your firm? It means you know, that your marketing dollars go further every time you spend to get a click on your website, a call to your phone number that is more meaningfully handled and not missed for your firm. You end up finding that maybe it costs you $10 a click for an ad uh, and, you know, you could spend that all day long and never have a call come out of it if people are leaving voicemails. But actually, if you see that you're paying per call with Smith AI and that you have a fixed cost per month with both Smith AI and Locus, you are able to uh, reliably handle the new, you know, clients and, uh, and work that's coming through because you have that sort of peace of mind with Locus and you know, look, I've got 10 uh, clicks. I have one appointment that's booked out of every 10 clicks to my website. Someone completes a website form. They call me, they uh, schedule the appointment themselves, whatever the case may be. They engage in a chat and get an appointment booked. Well, now I can see that really it was $100 per lead plus let's say $7 for the, for the phone call to actually be handled instead of just losing a hundred because there was no connection made and that hundred dollars is lost. Now it's $107 cost for the consultation that becomes a new client. We start to understand, wow, I'm able to invest this much money in the growth of my business. I reliably understand how much it is going to cost me with some variation in, in ad spend costs these days. Uh, and then I can really predict how much I need to infuse as cash into my business, how much I need to pay for adjacent services like Smith AI, and then how much I need to pay for Locus to make sure that I work these cases that I just won. That budget becomes a lot clearer. Now, obviously, you can also extend your hours and capacity by working sort of 24 seven for anyone pro tip who has Smith AI and they're getting their calls answered by us 24 seven, we recommend that you update your business hours on Facebook, on Google, to show that you're open 24 seven, because guess what? You just became open 24 seven. You don't have to take a call at 11 o'clock at night, but you certainly can have a call handled for you at 11 o'clock at night and a consult scheduled for that next morning. And I guarantee you, and actually GNGF, that agency I talked about earlier, they did a study on this. They showed that their clients who didn't rank number one, got that call more often because they actually had hours that said we're open right now when the others who had more reviews or higher ranking didn't and they said that they were closed. It's a bigger determining factor than your number of reviews. So that's really powerful. Reducing interruptions is absolutely critical and improving client happiness. We saw early on that that's going to lead to more revenue from those clients, maybe directly or indirectly from referrals. And then think about your staff happiness and their productivity. Sure, you don't want to be interrupted. You also don't want your staff to be interrupted. And when you spend the time actually hiring the staff who are working for you in-house, you want to retain them. And I guarantee you, every paralegal who is doing admin, extra, you know, phone answering work, et cetera, because that's often the case. They never say, I'm so glad I also get to answer calls, right? They're always saying, I really want to be in the role that I was hired for as a paralegal. And if they're not, they often end up seeking employment elsewhere. So it's a great way to maximize that investment in your staff, to retain them, and to make sure that you are holding on to them long term. Ariana? 
Great. So that sort of wraps it up for us. Uh, we have received some great feedback that uh, folks who are using this integration are happy so far. We would love to hear from you. Um, it's support at smith.ai to contact us. As, as you know, if you're a client, uh, Ariana, uh, what's the support email or, or is it your email? Uh, yeah, for them so to you? you can reach out to me, Ariana at Locus or support at Locus anytime. Um, sorry, I don't know what just happened there. Let's go ahead and close that. Um, but yeah, you can reach out to me at Ariana at Locus anytime or support at locus.com as well. Um, and we will answer any questions you guys have. Wonderful. Yeah. And I will also share um, what we have a moment. Uh, my email in the chat as well. Okay, great. I'm also going to share just the general uh, link to schedule an appointment if you're interested in speaking with us at Smith AI, uh, we do have availability as soon as today to get on the phone for a brief phone consultation and talk about how we can put this into place at your firm, talk further about how the lock and Smith AI integration works and uh, go through any of the best practices that we shared today. So that's it for me, Ariana. Thank you so much for hosting this and everyone, thanks for joining. That's it for me as well. Thank you so much everyone for being here and Maddie for your time and all the knowledge you provided. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. My pleasure. All right. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Thank you so much. You as well. Thanks, everyone.